Hi, my name is Eric Tender, and I'm the author of the book, The Amazing Dog Training Man. And in this video, I want to talk about treats because everybody thinks that if you have a treat, you can teach your dog to do just about anything. But I want to clue you in on a little secret. And treats can actually backfire and it can actually hinder your training. So... Before anybody freaks out there that's watching this video, I just want to let you know that I am a big fan of using rewards, treats, positive reinforcement when I'm training. But what you have to understand is that you want to use the treat as a reward and not a bribe. And what happens a lot of times when people are using treats is they start to bribe the dog. And if you bribe the dog, the dog is in charge. It's just like if you tried to bribe me. If you offered me $50 not to let out some secret that you didn't want anybody else to know about, I could very easily say, well, make it $100. So you want to make sure that you're always rewarding the dog for the behavior and you're not bribing the dog. And this happens a lot with the recall command. Um, a lot of times when the dog is in the yard and it's not coming back, the owner will try to bribe the dog to get the dog to come back to him. And that is a huge mistake because the more you bribe, the more in charge the dog is. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're rewarding. And a reward comes after the behavior has occurred. So the best thing to do is to set your dog up to successfully complete the command. And you can learn more about this. And with uh, my free ebook, you can just go to alwayscomeandcalled.com and you can get my free ebook, Eight Incredibly Simple Steps to Get Your Dog to Come When Called. Thanks for watching this video and good luck training your dog.